Hey there, are you one of those people who has a dream of being a very successful speaker? You know, one of those speakers who is booked on lots of stages, they're getting great money, they are impacting people's lives and really living on purpose and on mission, sharing their message with the world, and that hasn't happened for you yet? All right, I get it. You're in the right place. I'm Darius Chisholm. In this next video, I'm going to share with you what I believe are the three biggest reasons that's holding so many people back from living their lives as a successful speaker and how you cannot let that happen to you. So do me a huge favor, go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified on all of the videos that I will be providing for you. And go ahead, leave me a comment, hit the like button, settle back, grab your pen and paper, and let's dive in. All right, so this is a really important topic and it's something that comes up all the time, particularly when I'm working with my new clients. Uh, just to give you a quick backstory on me, for those of you all who don't know me, again, my name is Darieth Chisholm. I am an Emmy award-winning TV host, author, speaker, coach, filmmaker, and I primarily work with author, speakers, and coaches to help them get seen, get heard, and get paid. So you can find out more about me by going through my YouTube channel or hitting the bio page. But this isn't about me, this is about you. And this topic of, oh my goodness, I wanna be a great speaker, but I haven't been able to do that, is a common topic that comes up when I'm working with a lot of my clients. And I can identify, there's usually a list, and I'm gonna go through the list, but I wanna focus on the three main reasons that I see people really not becoming the successful speakers that they know that they want to become. And I'll go through the list, but then I wanna dive in on the, the last three. And the first one is, you know, people really give up. They quit before it's too soon. Some people think that this is going to be an overnight success. They start working and then they realize it's not showing up, it's not manifested, I've not had the results, and then they quit. So that takes a lot of people out right off the bat. You cannot give up just because the going gets rough. This takes time. Like anything, this takes time. So it's important for you to stay committed, stay focused, and be consistent with your goals. You cannot give up and you cannot quit. Secondly, what I see happen for most people, bad execution, just bad execution. They don't know what to do or what not to do. And I always say, you know, you can't really get this wrong if you are being consistent, but if it's continually bad execution, the results aren't going to be good. So there are certain things that you need to be doing as a speaker to get yourself booked consistently. So if you've got bad execution going on, that's entirely different than throwing a lot of stuff up against the wall. It means that whatever it is that you're throwing up against the wall is not sticking. So we need to change that. I also see that some people just have no execution. It's just like, you're just not even trying. You just, you know, as much as I am, a huge believer in the law of attraction and manifesting your greatest desires. I also understand that it takes work and it takes committed work and you have to always be willing to execute. So no execution also leads to no results, right? Sometimes people just simply don't understand what strategy is going to work best for them. Now, speakers come in all shapes and sizes, right? And there are certain speakers who get paid to speak because they're what we call a keynote speaker or a motivational or inspirational speaker. Then there are other speakers who are there to promote their platform. They're looking primarily for clients, for customers, and so typically they're there to sell something or teach people something. But usually without a good strategy plan, most speakers don't know what they are and what they should be developing. And so having a good strategy is in place. But now I wanna do a deep dive into what I see is the three biggest, most common reasons why people do not become successful speakers. And the first one is, you don't have a why. You don't have a why. And you know, I can remember years ago when I was first in network marketing, one of the biggest things that I taught so much of my team and what I knew to be true for me was that I had to have a crystal clear why. It was like, it. whenever you are going for something, if you don't know the why behind it, and you've probably heard this before, if the why doesn't make you cry, 
then it's not significant enough. So here's my question for you. Why do you want to be a speaker? Like what about that is so important for you? I know for me that, you know, I've, I chose to make a shift to becoming a speaker. I could have maintained a life of being on TV and having a great career as a television news anchor and a TV host. But when I shifted and decided that the message and the mission that I now have to give to the world is so important because it's about the people sitting in the seats and how I can impact their lives or be in service to them, everything changed. So here is my question. What is your why? And is it a why that's so important for you that you would move mountains for? It has to be uh, like blood running through your veins. It has to be so important for you that this why is something that is, it, 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 it just, it's the reason that you get up in the morning and you do what you do. When you're committed to achieving your why, everything will shift you will find a way. In fact, you might be more inclined to take more inspired action, right? You will be able to make so many additional decisions that are in service to you and your why when you know what it is. So you've got to get clear on your why. The second thing that I see happening and why most people are not becoming successful speakers is that you're not hungry enough. You're not, you're simply not hungry enough. You don't want it bad enough. You know, when you want something bad enough, you will do it. It's different than knowing the why. The hunger around it is, I am going to do this because I got to eat type of hunger, right? And so if you are, if you're in a place where, yeah, it's like, meh, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll, you know, consider doing what it takes to be a speaker. You're not hungry enough. It has to be like, this is so important to you achieving this goal and this result because you're that hungry for it. So ask yourself this question, how hungry am I? How much do I really want this? What am I willing to do? What am I willing to overcome? What am I willing to change? What am I willing to learn? What am I willing to give up? And what am I willing to give in order to make this dream of becoming a successful speaker come true. How hungry are you? So the third common thing that I see so many people doing that is preventing them from being the successful speaker that they dream of becoming is that they are afraid to invest. They're afraid to spend money, spend money, time, resources in order to make their dream come true. I can guarantee you this, if you are afraid to invest in what it is that you want to do, why would anybody ever invest their time or their money to come and watch you speak or listen to you speak or buy your programs or whatever it is that you, you want to share from the stage? If you are afraid to invest in yourself and invest in your future, what are you putting out into the universe? What are you creating in terms of the ripple effect, even with people ultimately wanting to do business with you or wanting to hear your story or wanting to be impacted by what it is that you, you're sharing? You're automatically setting up resistance from flow and from being able to make the next steps simply by you making a decision not to invest. Now, beyond that, what you're also doing is let's say that you know you need to take a course enroll in a program, hire a coach, get the mentoring that you need, that is potentially all of the information, details, content, strategy, and plan that you need to move you to the next level. And yet you're sitting there humming and hoeing, mm, should I, should I not, mm, maybe I shouldn't, or second guessing or questioning yourself around an investment in something that has the tools and resources to move you forward. You'll never become successful that way. You have to invest in yourself. You have to spend money in order to make money. It is, it's as common sense as that. Now, again, there's so many different things. I mean, it could just simply be, you know, and if you don't have the money, hey, you could spend time watching my YouTube videos. They're free. 
You can get into one of my Facebook groups. It's free. You can take one of my free trainings. In fact, I've got a great one for you and I'll put the link up on the screen. You simply go out to dariathchisholm.com forward slash magnetic speaker and it's a free training. You bring your notepad and your pen and you can figure out what you need. Beyond that, in that program, by the way, I talk about joining my membership academy, Speak, Serve, Soar, which is a very low price investment that you can make in yourself to learn how to get seen, get heard, and get paid. Like, why would you limit yourself from this opportunity? Well, I can tell you again, these three things, I listed a bunch of them, but these three things are the top reasons why so many people are not being successful, not only as a speaker, but I would, I would argue, argue to say that probably in anything. And so I want you to not be that person. So here it is in a nutshell. You've got to have a big why. You have to be crystal clear about your why, and it needs to be written down in a journal, uh, perhaps pasted on your wall, you know, next to your bedside, someplace that you can look at. It could be on a dream board, on a vision board, but the why has got to be there for you, and you need to see it every day. You also have to be hungry. You've got to go at this like your hair is on fire, right? When you see very successful people out there, I can guarantee you that they wake up hungry. They've got the why and they're hungry and they're going after it. And the third and most important thing is that if you don't know the way, if you can't figure it out, if you're spending so much time, money, and energy throwing stuff up against the wall with no execution or bad execution, then you need to invest in the right places to get the right support that you need in order to make this dream come true. So I've just given you one tool, right? I've given you one way that you can look at this. You could go out to my website at dariathchisholm.com forward slash magnetic speaker, watch a free training, you could take it a step further if you're hungry and you have a why and invest in yourself and join my incredible membership academy, speakserveSoar.com and really be supported along your way to becoming a successful speaker. But I can tell you this, no decision is a decision. So you being in indecision is you actually making a decision. So you don't have to take my word for it. You can go out and listen to anybody else's videos, but because you're here on my channel, I wanna invite you to watch a few others. I've put together a, a wonderful library of videos that you can check out. Uh, with this video, if you got something out of it, if it's ringing a couple of bells, go ahead and comment. Please share this video with other people and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.